As you can see in the video, the lobster is running at a certain velocity. I'm going to teach you about displacement, velocity, and acceleration. Now, this graph shows the lobster's displacement. Let's assume he was moving at y equals x squared. The lobster's velocity is the derivative of his displacement. So if his displacement is f of x equals x squared, then his velocity is f prime of x equals 2x. His acceleration is the derivative of his velocity. So if his velocity is 2x, then his acceleration is 2. Now, to summarize, the displacement is f of x equals x squared. The velocity is f prime of x equals 2x. And the acceleration, f double prime, equals 2. In this wasteland, I am the one who runs from both the living and the dead. A man reduced to a single instinct. Survive. Now I'm going to teach you about critical points and points of inflection. The critical point are maxes, mins, and plateaus, or wherever the derivative is zero. Also, point of inflections is where the concavity changes from up to down. Now, we're going to find the critical points and points of inflection on this graph. The up and down arrows represent when the graph is changing from concave up to concave down. The zeros represent points of inflection, and the infinity sign represents a cusp. What? No. 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 No, no. No. The arrows represent whether f of x is moving up or down, and they correspond with the plus and minus symbols, which tell you whether f prime of x is positive or negative. Zeros represent critical points where f prime of x is neither positive nor negative. For f double prime of x, the curves represent if f of x is concave up or concave down, and the zeros mark the point of inflections. And now, the area and volume of solids. Let's assume the bathtub is the equation y equals 1 half x to the 3 halves rotated around the y-axis. dv is pi r squared dx. If we plug the equation in and solve, we end up with 15.33 feet cubed. <laughs> The was walking upstairs. The stairs represent a way to find the area underneath a curve, or Riemann sums. There are three types of Riemann sums. The left Riemann sums, where the left point of the rectangle is used. Middle Riemann sums, where the middle point of the rectangle is used. And right Riemann sums, where the right point of the rectangle is used. Here is the Riemann sum equation. Acceleration. Velocity. These are the words of a mathematical world that we live in today.